Hello everyone and welcome back to Cops Light. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a broken sound overview of Viper. So let's go ahead and begin today's video. Before we go ahead and do so, if you're watching this on the YouTube side of things, hit the top link in the description to take you to our written article regarding this bot. Let's go ahead and begin today's video. So when you open up the bot, this is what it looks like at the moment at the time recording this video. So make sure to check the date of today's video. You have the Viper logo. You have the minimize button, you have the X button, you have the settings button, your Discord AVI, that's attached to this key file there dashboard. Then you have the Discord username and your local computer time. When you hit the settings button, it's going to show this. It's going to show where you can put your Discord webhook to receive notifications from the bot regarding its success failures and things like that so once you enter it you can test it to make sure it works and you can also save it as well we have a few pages here i'm going to break it down right to left so let's begin on the proxies page this is where you can go ahead and enter proxies that can be used with your tasks so let's go ahead and add some proxies here i have some proxies put aside for this video let's go ahead and copy them the proxies are there i'm going to call it video te test proxies like so let's hit the create button and that will go ahead and create a group so as you guys can see i can go ahead and hit this button to go ahead and edit the proxies if i wish and i can hit this button to delete the group as well it shows the name and how many proxies are inside the group if i actually click on the group it will show the proxies here the proxies and the status because they're idling because of the fact that i've yet to test them so let's go ahead and do so we're going to go ahead and select a website up here so i'm going to go ahead and test it with footlocker Let's go ahead and test all the proxies here. As you guys can see, the return being failed because of the fact that these proxies have expired. But I'm just demonstrating how the proxy testing service works and how you go ahead and create groups. And I can go ahead and delete that group if I wish once I'm done with it. So that is pretty useful when it comes to separating proxies for different sites and different tasks when you're using Viper. And you can also go ahead and open up the Capture Harvester, which will go ahead and look like this. It opens up in a browser. You can set a proxy, you can harvest, log in, and you can go to YouTube as well as Google. Moving over to profiles, this is where you can go ahead and create profiles as well as export and import profiles in Viper. So this is what it looks like. You have the export button, which will go ahead and export profiles out to Viper. And you have the import button, which will open up your file directory where you can go ahead and import profiles into Viper. Now, if you want to actually go ahead and create a profile, this is what the process looks like. So we can go ahead and configure our profile name. I'm going to call it video test profile, just like so. And then you have the shipping and billing information then you have your card information. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out this information then I'm going to cut back in a moment. So I've gone ahead and entered my details here. I'm going to hit the create profile button and that will go ahead and create my profile. It shows the profile name. We can edit it with this button. We can duplicate it with this button. We can delete it with this button. You can go ahead and delete that profile. Then it shows the last four digits of the card number as well as the email on that profile. Then we have the all tasks page. I know it's empty at the moment, but I'm just going to go ahead and clear up. You use the CLI download to go ahead and enter tasks into the bot. I'm not going to showcase it in this video, but that is how this process works. So if you do have the bot, they have documentation within their discord as to how all this works but let's move over to the dashboard which is the last page of the bot this is where you can see the money spent and this is based on all your successful checkouts they go ahead and add the retail of every single successful checkout and that is reflected in the money spent then obviously your total checkouts all your successful checkouts will appear here in terms of a number then you have your total declines you have the change log on the upcoming releases as well and then your successful checkouts will appear here as well that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video if you guys did enjoy please drop a like subscribe if you guys are new i'm going to catch you guys next time peace out